Yo, what's up, my fellow Fremen? It's your boy Anthony back at it with another epic review. Today, we're diving deep into the Dunes of Dune Part 2. Now, before we kick off this Sandy adventure, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and all that good stuff. But first things first, let me hit you with a quick summary for all you desert newbies out there. Picture this a world where epic spice is more valuable than gold, where giant sandworms roam the deserts like overgrown subways, and where everyone's got more nicknames than a rapper's entourage. That's the world of Dune Part 2 for you. Now, let me keep it real with y'all. I ain't no Dune scholar. I didn't read the books, didn't watch the old movies. Heck, I barely knew Iraqis from a hole in the ground. But hey, that's what makes this review spicy, am I right? Yo, can we talk about Batista for a sec? This Harkonnen dude is like a walking earthquake. He's out here smashing heads like it's a hobby and I'm living for every chaotic moment. But seriously, who needs a therapist when you can just crush your problems like Raven? Now, Zendaya, my girl, you're killing it as always, but can we talk about your character's beef with Paul? This prophecy is how they enslave us! I mean, come on, girl. Let the man have his nicknames. Lasano Al Gaib, Usul, Uz, whatever. Dude's collecting more aliases than a secret agent, and Zendaya's character is not feeling it at all. I like her in this movie, I'm so glad that she has more to do in this one, but yo, let my man live. Yo, and speaking of battles, let's talk about those desert showdowns. We got worm surfing, sand witches, and enough sand to fill a beach resort. I'm telling you, if you ain't surfing on sandworms by the end of this movie, you're doing it wrong. Oh, and can we talk about Paul's eyes for a sec? Homeboy's eyes turn bluer than a smurf at a snowball fight after, you know, <laughs> doing a deed with Zendaya. Talk about a power move, but hey, if that's what happens when you Netflix and chill in the desert, sign me up. But let's keep it 100, fam. This movie ain't all sunshine and sandcastles. We got pacing slower than a tortoise in a quicksand. We got plot twists more tangled than my grandma's yarn collection. And characters popping in and out like they're playing musical chairs. I'm sitting here trying to keep up with all these twists and turns, and I feel like I need a GPS just to navigate through the desert of confusion. But hey, despite the desert storms and sandstorms, Dune Part 2 is still a wild ride from start to finish, so grab your popcorn, buckle up, and get ready for a desert adventure like no other. This is Anthony signing off until the next cinematic Sam Storm hits the big screen. Peace out, Sam Warriors.